When it comes to painting metallics, there's several different um, items on the market and different kinds of gold that you can use. Obviously, you can use silver as well if you want, pearl dust. There's uh, plenty of different options. Uh, what you have to keep in mind, though, is these um, products actually do contain gold. They're considered non-toxic. Um, if you're doing a, a showpiece, say, something, something someone's not going to eat, then feel free to use as much as you want. Um, but if this is going on a cake that's going to be eaten, you have to use these um, very sparingly just for you know tiny detail, just for little things. You wouldn't want to paint an entire cake gold um, at the risk of poisoning someone. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of our gold mixture, our gold dust, into a small bowl. This stuff's expensive, so when you mix it up, probably just want to mix up a little bit at a time. And really the best thing to use to um, dilute this is grain alcohol, and I know that that's not available uh, readily in every state, and maybe not in your area, so you can actually just use a vodka, and that's what I'll use today. Um, the only difference is the um, the grain alcohol actually dissolves it much better and then it evaporates really, really quickly so you get a nice high shine, whereas the vodka is a little bit more, more slowly um, drying. So I'm just going to put a few drops in here, just a few drops at a time. And then we're going to just sort of mix it up. You can always add more, so don't add too much to begin with. And you can see the viscosity of it. it it's got a little thickness to it, but it's not super thick, it's not clumpy, and it's not super watery. So when you shake it around, you can sort of see the ripples in there. That's kind of what you want. Make sure all that's dissolved. Perfect. I'm gonna bring my towel over here. The one thing you want to keep in mind is to not load your brush with too much of the paint because you don't want this to drip. If you drip it onto uh, another white surface. You can get it off by using a little bit of vodka to get rid of it, but sometimes um, it will leave a little bit of shimmer behind. So you want to be very careful when you're painting with metallics. And so at this point you will have, you know, all of your piping that you want to paint on here and dried for probably at least an hour, I would say. This has had about an hour to dry. And then what we're going to do is just come in here into our white. I'm going to steady my hand with the, with the other side of the brush so I make sure I'm just getting... And you can see it sort of spreads itself out. Just want to cover your white here a little more. Let it sort of like gild itself. It'll sort of spread out on its own. When you're using grain alcohol, especially because it, um, it starts to evaporate really, really quickly, you may end up finding yourself, as you're painting, this getting a lot thicker for you. So what you want to do is just add a couple of drops here and there to just keep that same sort of viscosity the whole time. You see it goes on pretty easy. You just have to be very careful. And if you want to, I mean, you can noodle this for days, come back and sort of make sure it's all covered. We'll do the same thing with the B up here. Once again, it's sort of like piping. You want to make sure that you steady yourself because my hands shake a lot and I'm doing really tiny things. So that's why I always make sure that I steady myself with either my head or with my other hand. Alrighty. That looks good. See, that, see how, how, how awesome that looks? You could leave it white, you know, because it's still it still is dramatic here, but it just this is a way to get just a little bit more color into it, and especially metallic, because people don't normally associate cakes with metallics, or um, I think it just gives it like a little bit more of a, of a dramatic look.